Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. In our last videos, I talked about downloading the Java Development Kit, the JDK, and then installing it, and then downloading the Android Software Development Kit, the SDK, also known as the ADT bundle, and then unzipping the folder. There's no installation file. The third piece of software that we need to develop Android apps is what we will be able to use to create HTML5 based Android apps. So that's going to be at PhoneGap.com. Now traditionally, you would use Java, the Java programming language, to create your Android apps. Let's say then you've completed your project, you've published it on Google Play, and let's say you're making money. Then you want to tap into the iPhone market, and then the BlackBerry market, and the Windows Phone market, and other cell phone markets, other mobile device markets besides Android you would have to completely reprogram your app because you programmed it originally in Java. But Java doesn't work on the iPhone. Objective-C works on the iPhone. And then you need C-sharp for the Windows Phone. And then you need something else for BlackBerry. So in my class, we're going to be talking about using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which are web technologies that are then going to be, in a sense, translated into the appropriate native language for each platform. And PhoneGap is what allows us to do that. So going to PhoneGap.com, this is where we would read the documentation, download the, uh, the files, and uh, this is where we need to be at, so phonegap.com, and it's basically taking those web technologies, wrapping it in code that then the mobile devices understand, and then all the mobile devices will be able to, to run your app. You won't be limited to just Android. So when you're here at phonegap.com, select to install PhoneGap, and then I give you a caveat here. The latest version of PhoneGap is version 3.4 as of this video. Below we have archives, which are in the 2.0 branch. 2.9.1 released in November last year, 2.9.0 released in June, and so forth. In this class, I'm going to recommend that you download the PhoneGap 2.9.0 because for our purposes it's easier to work with. The latest versions require you to first install Node.js and then in the command line install PhoneGap and then use more command line tools to create your different projects. And if you feel you can handle that, have at it. But if we download one of these archive versions, this gives us a handy zip file with everything that we need. I believe it's around 20 megabytes or so. And what this comes with are the templates for the different mobile devices. So mine downloaded, let's check it out. We have the PhoneGap 2.9.0 zip file, 22 megabytes. Inside of that, we have our libraries. And inside of that, we have all of the basically templates to create our are our apps. And this is the method we're going to use because I believe it's a lot more straightforward than the current uh, versions, the 3.0 branch, which is you first need to install Node.js, then use the command line, and eventually you'll get to the point that I'm going to talk about. So I recommend just download this version. You want to extract your results and put them into some folder somewhere on your hard drive, the desktop, your C drive, somewhere and then we'll be ready to run. So download PhoneGap version 2.9.0, unzip it, and then come back for the next video to keep learning about Android app development with HTML5.